Does she see you? Here she comes. Chris, I'll take my phone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here, hold it. We've known for weeks now, Mom. <laughs> How long are you home for? Two weeks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I wasn't dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I flew in. Uh, I left like 6 a.m. this morning. Oh, my God. I just got here. Tonight for an Army Chief Warrant Officer returning from a year-long deployment in Afghanistan, but he will have his three children. Today, the single dad went school to school, surprising each of his kids. And now his news reporter, Leal Stallworth, was there for all of the emotional reunions. California Army National Guard Chief Warrant Officer David Duran has been away from his family in Afghanistan for a year. But it is until today when he surprised his 14-year-old son at his middle school in Lincoln Heights. <sighs> This is good. I, I want to spend the, the whole time with him, every minute. Oh, this is raw emotion, you know, that's just the way it is. The, the, the battles are not just overseas, you know, the battles are, are here at home. I'm a single father, so having my sons, or having my kids, you know, uh, endure that, um, the uncertainty of, hey, is my father ever coming back? David understands how blessed he is to have his dad come home. He understands that not everybody will have the opportunity that he has. He's a very sensitive kid. After surprising his boy and getting a certificate of appreciation from school officials, at Nightingale Middle School, it was time for Chief Warrant Officer Duran to give his next child... <laughs> Nicole Duran, a senior at Lincoln High School, the same heartwarming Valentine's Day gift. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so wonderful. Honey, your daddy's a hero. I love him so much. And sweetie, you were not only crying, you were shaking. Yes, I, I was. Just, I, I didn't expect him coming. I thought it was going to come Saturday, we were going to pick him up. Could you have asked for a better Valentine's Day gift? No, I couldn't. This is this is amazing. I, I love this. It's a great gift to give her. You know, it's a, her senior year, so it's a pretty special moment that uh, I'm glad I was able to give her. We're not done, folks. Chief Warrant Officer Duran will be arriving here at the third and final school to greet his third and final child, giving that child the heartwarming Valentine's Day gift of a lifetime. Fourth grader Luce Duran was filled with tears of joy as she threw her arms around her daddy at Gates Elementary School. We always think of those reunions, and I'm just one of the fortunate ones. Every day, including Valentine's Day, our hearts are with our troops. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Well, for the past six months, Lieutenant Paul Carroll has been overseas, but he is home now. And we were there when his son got the big surprise. Yeah, we ran the story initially on Friday, but on Veterans Day, we wanted to run it again, partly because it is so special and partly because, well, we could just run one of these every day yeah, and, sure and watch could. it over and over again. Here's News Force Nigel Robertson with the surprise. Just look at him. Josh Carroll, an eighth grader at Lead Academy in Greenville, has no idea what is about to happen. His mother, however, does. Jamon Williams. You see, Josh thinks he is just at another end of the nine weeks awards program, but what he doesn't know is just outside the cafeteria. Yeah, we're going to try to pull it off. He thinks I'm coming home in about three weeks. Yep, his dad, Lieutenant Paul Carroll, is home from Afghanistan. Mom and the school staff planned the whole surprise. Today we also want to pay honor and tribute to another type of service. Now the moment is just seconds away. The final award is for service to your country. 
Josh and his mom are called up in front of the whole school. Now, just watch and listen to what happens next. Please make welcome back home, First Lieutenant. <laughs> Dad and son together again. Nigel Robertson, WIFF News 4, Greenville. Wow, there's some, there's some raw emotion for you. That's, I wanted to talk after just, this. That's just fantastic, mm. and apparently the surprises continued. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Friday night, First Lieutenant Carroll's two other sons also came home from the Citadel for the weekend. They also had no idea that their dad would be there waiting for them. makes his little brother cry at school today and for all the right reasons Andrew Irvin has been away for the last two months at Fort Benning for basic training Andrew's younger brother Dylan thought he was coming home in February but Andrew decided to surprise Dylan at Pond Elementary School I thought I was in trouble <laughs> it was acres to sit me down and that was in trouble and then Really well. Thanks to Quicken Loans Miles for Military, Andrew was able to fly home for free. It's great. Quicken Loans is just, it's great that Quicken Loans could pull something together like that and really make things like this possible for a lot of people. It's just a nice gift to be home with everybody and to just enjoy the time and the holiday with everybody. Andrew will spend the next two weeks with his family before he returns to service. You have to get over some time away. It definitely helps. And knowing I only have a month left when I go back and I'm done, so it's it's nice to be able to have two weeks off to recover and heal up a little bit, take on the last month. And it looks like Andrew and Dylan are already back to doing what brothers do best. Why'd you cry like such a girl? Because, Andrew, I haven't seen you in two months. I haven't seen you in two months, and I cry like a girl. <laughs> I didn't think I'd miss him, of all people, but oh. yeah, I definitely did. Once I was gone, to see him again was just as nice. Now that I get two more weeks to just torture mom here to make up for all the lost time. But was it a nice surprise? Yes, it was. Best Christmas for Best Christmas. Best Christmas. Hi! There you go, purple. Thank you, bud. That's not his, is it? Are you outside? Yes, it is. She's dating somebody here? Oh, I can oh, hear you. here. Oh, I see your face. Oh, this is Dana. It's Wendy. Dana. Oh. Oh. Dana. Oh, my bad. It's next door. Oh. You're showing up now. Sahara. You can grab Are you going to, like, halfway open that? Or are you going to... Oh. What'd you get? What's your, uh... Your... Uh, you're on 20% battery. 
Oh. Yeah. What's your itinerary? Sarah. Oh, okay. My <laughs> itinerary. Yeah, when you're coming, the time and the date. Huh? He's busy. Just so yeah, go see what your itinerary is when you're coming. All right. Somebody's knocking on his door. He's going to see when he's coming. He does have a plane ticket, you know. Yes! For January. <clears throat> Somebody was here. Come on in. Come in. Come on in. Maybe they have stuff and they can't open the door. That's not where I'm at. Oh my god! Oh my god, Johnny! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Well, there's a story behind this. Oh, hey, Grandma. Story. What's the story? The story is yesterday we had this plan to surprise everybody, so we were supposed to pick him up at the airport at 5 o'clock today, and we were just going to hang out at the house. But last night I got a knock on the door, and it was Caleb and all Cody's friends, and they showed up, hey, my mom made cookies and this, that. So I said, well, come on in. Lisa's not home yet. And I said, now listen, guys, I got a surprise, and you can't tell anybody. I said, tomorrow at 5, Cody's coming in. You can't tell anybody. They said, really? Well, we got a surprise for you. I turn around, he's coming in the back door. I thought, were you rotten butts? So Lisa's not home yet, so we hide him in the house till she gets in the door. And then, of course, sets Rennie and her. Well, Rennie spotted him immediately and came running down the stairs and freaked out. And then Josie and Lisa come home, and they, we hid him upstairs and then they, he come down and of course his mother lost her mind <laughs> yeah so we tried to be snakes with you guys and we got snaked by his buddies and him so anyway okay well he's got to go now all right go back to work <laughs> okay carry on with your presents <laughs> no big deal <laughs> Right here, boy. Right here. We were going to open his present for mine. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was so he's been home for two days. What? And I tried to get you to come home yesterday, and you didn't want to. I wish you would have told me. Well, we yeah. couldn't. Cause I told you I had a present for you that I think you're going to like. Yeah. And you've been asking for a puppy, right? Have you been asking for a puppy? What kind of puppy? The other night on TV. You got me a puppy! 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 You got me a puppy!
birthday present, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you wanted a puppy. Is this bad? No. Puppy? Go get a puppy? No. What do you have to say about your present, Alyssa? I love you. Thank you so much. set up already. How did you do that? <laughs> you did that. Oh my god. You just got in? Yeah. You oh, didn't okay. go to Denver? And you're not going I to stayed in the hotel last night. <laughs> you were supposed to be in yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to That's be why yesterday. I was going out of town, oh, I'll go get him, leave early. Well, they didn't get in. So I stayed at a hotel. Okay. I was in town the whole day yesterday. It was over at Guy's working. <laughs> oh, oh, no. And you're not going to warm tonight. I know that too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, grab it right here, baby. Oh God, right here. Grab it right here and rip it. Okay, unwrap it. What is it? What is it? A it's a birthday. No, it's Christmas. Push it over. Pick it up. Oh! <laughs> Mm. You knew who I was, right? <laughs> I just 
Did Santa Claus bring home Daddy? Santa bring presents. Santa bring presents. Go inside, Emmy. Santa bring presents. Because she don't want to go inside. Come on, let's go inside. Oh. Emmy, dude. Oh, Daddy. Look what Santa got you. Emmy, a bigger bite. Thank you. She don't care about no big girl, but she just can't find her there.